Today, our, your lecture is over all about primary sources. And you have a note sheet, and you'll notice that there are some words missing in the note sheet. And so when you come to those on the notes, just uh, you know write those down where they need to be. And this section of notes that I've given you is something that you need to keep to refer back to uh, not only this year but in the future for those uh, primary source uh, questions that you might have. So let's get started. First ask these questions. Historians go to primary sources in the search for evidence to answer questions about what happened in the past and why. When working with primary sources, answering a series of basic questions can help us draw more accurate conclusions. When trying to gather evidence from a primary source, first try to answer these basic questions. You may not have enough information to do so, but still try to answer those. Who what is it? Who wrote or made it? When was it written or made? Where was it written or made? How was it written or made? What evidence does this sort contribute to my research? And then you're going to ask, what is the meaning of this primary source. Why was this document or object written or made? Who was the intended audience or user? What questions does this source raise? Why don't we know about this source? Or what don't we know about this source? What other information do we have about this document or object? What other sources are like this one? Six, what other sources might help answer our questions about this one? Seven, what else do we need to know in order to understand the evidence in this source? Eight, what have others said about this or similar sources? Nine, how does this source help me to answer my research question? And ten, how does evidence from this source alter or fit into existing interpretations of the past? What are primary sources? Primary sources are original records created at the time historians' historical events occurred or well after events from the form of memoirs or oral histories. Primary sources may include letters, manuscripts, diaries, journals, newspapers, speeches, interviews, memoirs, documents produced by government agencies such as Congress or the Office of the President, photographs, auto recordings, moving pictures or video recordings, research data, and objects or artifacts such as works of art or ancient roads, buildings, tools, and weapons. These sources serve as the raw material to interpret the past, and when they are used along with previous interpretations by historians, they provide the resources necessary for historical research. All of the following can be primary sources. Diaries, letters, photographs, art, maps, 
video and film, sound recordings, interviews, newspapers, magazines, published first-hand accounts or stories, and political cartoons. Finding primary sources on the web. Consult major collections of primary sources. The following reputable sites link to thousands of primary sources. And you can look at these one, two, three, four, five different sites um, to find um, reputable primary sources. Um, be aware when you look on the internet, um, as you know, there are a lot of uh, false or fake news out. And this, the same goes with um, historical documents and, and things, you know. So make sure that you know where they came from and that it's a reputable site. Browse a history subject directory. Subject directories are useful when you are interested in seeing a broad variety of sources on your topic. Some subject directories include annotations and evaluations of sites. Useful subject directories for history include, and you've got History Matters, History Guides, Worldwide Virtual Library History. <coughs> this is an example of what could be a primary source here, this um, illustration of uh, a young lady, a Chinese bell and child in Chinatown in San Francisco. Use a search engine. Search engines are useful when you are researching a narrow topic or trying to locate a specific document. When searching, use specific terms rather than broad terms. For example, search for the Emancipation Proclamation, not just slavery. Search for the Battle of Chancellorsville, not Civil War. And then here's some examples of popular search engines. Now, most of you are probably aware of this just because of the fact of all of the research and stuff that you do on the internet. So you're a jump ahead. Here's another example of a written primary source, a cholera in Buffalo. It sounds kind of sickening. Evaluating primary source websites. Now, this is important 